Team Switch Size and get ready to go. Period two action from Skate 3 in Tingsboro. It's the Islanders East Hockey Club leading the Manchester Flames 2 to 1 as we begin the second frame. Flames have just broken huddle. The interesting criticism, or the rather not criticism, I'd say, uh, but uh, tactic, maybe tacticness. Not the right word, but anyway, Jim Germany in the intermission talking about the defense uh, moving the puck, and I'd say that's quite a valid point to make to the Flames as we begin period two. Uh, this is Braden Kylie, or rather, no, it's Cox moving in right side. He's forced to back in into the corner after he couldn't maneuver through an extra player. This comes back for Gronwald. Gronwald looking for some options as he moves to the dot. Gronwald with a shot. Uh, didn't get all of it as it goes wide off the wall. This is blessed now. He's looking to pick it up. All the flames are there. Another congestion. Hemingway, or sorry, not Hemingway. <laughs> that was Bless. Uh, rather, a nice shot of the referee's back here as it comes around the other way. Islanders have some space to clear this puck out. They can't. Right through the hash marks dangerously in that grade A Broadway area. I'll just get it out now and Elliot Gronwald will go back. Flames will make some changes off to the right of the frame where you can't see. Here comes Dermody. He's coming right up the middle. Moves it wide side for a shot. Good look by Dermody. He found Riccio and his shot just missed wide. That was Riccio. He had a player on his back and lost it under pressure. Islanders will get the clear here. Pelletier throws it off the wall. Islanders end up with it, uh, but they are offside at the line. That shot was late. Uh, and it missed wide anyway. 13.22 uh, on the clock. Uh, as we're about, I'm gonna check my math skills here, about one and a half minutes in through this second period. Derby taking it off the wall and coming in down low under the goal. Dermody spinning right out in front. Here's Riccio. He was on his backhand, so he couldn't get a shot off. And he was in coverage as well. Dermody unhappy as he heads off to the bench. Uh, Flames are going to get called for offsides here. I believe. Uh, yep. I've been missing penalties. Of recent, I don't know what it's what it's been with me, so I'm always hesitant when the referees, you know, blows the whistle and players stand around not doing anything. Uh, Islanders pass that just went through the crease. Uh, always hesitant there because I'm not sure owed it. I miss a penalty. Yeah, because I don't know what it's been with me, but I have been. Here's a chance at the side of the goal, and Kerr was either forced to make a save or it went wide. We know one thing for certain, it did not go in the net. Uh, we play on here on the far side. Fysik, he goes right up the middle. It should be a one-on-one -on -one here. Kylie has some space to the outside. Lost the puck, it goes to the boards. Kylie was looking for Fysik, who was free, and instead played it right onto the stick of an Islander player. And they'll come on in at the face-off circle. That shot blocked aside, and now Kylie comes again. If he can turn on the Jets, he could have a chance here. He hooks up Baker with a shot, SCORE! Zachary Baker with a seeing eye shot that finds its way in and the Flames have just tied the game. That's one way to get a goal. It was kind of a rainbow shot by Baker uh, from just to the left of the near hash marks. Uh, and I'm not sure how it found its way in. Glove side, blocker side, or what, but it's in, and it's two to two. Referee says this puck is a deflection, so no icing is called. Murphy thought there was going to be. That's why this puck's out in front. Out of the line, long shot. Bunch of deflections, and it ends up going to the wall behind the cage, and now Murphy will find it. Up the wall for Smethurst, just ahead of him. Islanders trying to bring it back in recklessly. That's an offside. And another whistle.
I'm going to do the draw at center, maybe. Yep. Never made sense to me why they do that. <laughs> One of these days I'll learn, though. Here's Dermody. He nearly got in behind the defense there with that speed. Dermody did get the puck, though. Harry Dermody. He had Young open at the line, elected not to go to him, and got tied up on the far boards. Dermody still tied up. And now Young stepped up to keep that puck in. It does come out eventually on two tries. Islanders will do the jump and chase. Murphy on it first, chipped it around and goes to get it himself. Now another chip up for Riccio this time. And it gets out. Maurice had the poke and then decided he thought, he, he must have thought there was somebody else who was going to pass the puck up to him and he started to fly the wing. Instead, it was a loose puck, and the Islanders come back in. Murphy scoops it off a stick, and he'll take it on behind the cage. Murphy spinning. Goes up for Maurice. Is this going to connect? No. Maurice can't get it up the wall, and it's center now. As the Islanders took over possession. Couldn't do anything with that. Young trying to force it up the wall. Nothing doing there for the Flames on the far side. And it comes back in for the HC. They'll try to move it out in front. Lane to the slot, comes back to the line. Hard slap shot coming through. Save was made, back to the point again. That shot didn't quite make it through to the goal. Murphy intercepted as a player on his back, shaking it off. Uh, Murphy up for Maurice. Can he get it out? He will, and he's got a chance here. Here comes Sam Maurice, right up the gut of the ice. Uh, just couldn't dangle through that last remaining player. He had Riccio with him too. 9.36. On the clock here in period two, and we're gonna have a penalty upcoming. Uh, and I think it might be Sam Maurice going in the box. Uh, it is indeed. Slashing's the call. Again, as I said earlier, I didn't see it. Go figure. <laughs> but uh, I do believe it, it happened right to the uh, left of your frame there, just after Maurice lost the puck, maybe. That's my inference. No data to support that, though. <laughs> Islanders start this power play on a dump in on the right side. Gronwald's got the puck. Two players on him, and he fell down. Pelletier now will do the dirty work down low. Islanders take it off the wall, though. And in the middle, shot right along the ice. Nice tactful shot. The save was made, then another one went off the outside of the cage. Elliot Gronwald will kill some time. Remember, there is that icing rule. You can't ice it all the way down. Gronwald lost the puck and he tried to do a toe drag move. They call a tip and again, no icing. Against the Islanders here. Fisic, uh, he's on the back check, I guess. And he did a good job as this puck uh, found its way outside the line. Flames trying to pick it up in neutral territory. They'll chip it in. Baker goes off for a change, and the Islanders get a chance to go end-to-end -end here, but that pass was errant, and on the stick of Pelletier instead. Fisic, 50 seconds remaining in the power play. Jaden Fisic will dump it in again. Islanders have some time still remaining here, uh, but didn't use it well. Kylie centered it out in front. No one was there, and now the Islanders have space to maneuver left side. Hemingway forcing his man outside, and now in deep. Puck got centered right in front. It ends up behind the cage, and Hemingway will take possession. Can't maintain it. Back to the line it comes. Islanders attempting to move it around in deep. They have a man behind the cage catalysting this power play. Comes to the dot. High shot saved by Kerr. Rebounds loose in front towards the hash marks. And now into the corner to the line. And that pass missed the intended target right through his legs. That'll do it for the power play for the Islanders. We're back to five aside. Cox pushed in deep. Nothing more than that has come back to the line for Folsom. He'll flip it into the corner. Uh, Smethurst. Uh, Smethurst got time. Smethurst off the wall with a shot. It was hard. And a glove save was made. Rebound went to the corner. Billy Smethurst just didn't have any help over there. 
Get all the time in the world as this puck ping-pongs to the top of the crease. Uh, Islanders can't clear it. Uh, good job by Cox to step up. Here's Cox with a shot. They've made, or rather it was blocked. Uh, couldn't pick it up again though, and this puck's still not out. Uh, Folsom off the wall, bouncing shot in the save. Still loose behind the cage, and Flames are turning up the heat, no pun intended. <laughs> Cox tried to come out in front, no go. Hemingway, his shot, and just wide of the goal. Dermody's down low, good work right now. Harry Dermody, center, no one was there, and now Hemingway stepped up. Somehow, I think it was Smethers who got back and at least made it difficult for the Flames to get outside the line, look here. Here's Dermody, he's got a break. Harry Dermody's right in, scores! Harry Dermody on a breakaway has the goal for the Flames and they have the lead. Three to two. It was a very poor, and I mean extremely poorly executed line change by the Islanders that left Harry Dermody and Drew Hemingway for that matter all alone. And it was Dermody who took it himself with a nice move and tucked it home for a 3-2 lead. Sam Maurice now will spin it in. Up there on the four check, Brian Riccio lumbering down low. Riccio, that puck isn't stable down in the corner and Riccio will pick it up. Riccio finding Germany. Germany walking out in front of the back end. Rebound still loose at the top of the crease and it's cleared away by the Islanders. Great work by Brian Riccio down low. And Harry Germany almost capitalized on that. Now it's the Flames getting the majority of the chances here in the second. Well, the tide seems to have very slowly turned a bit. Fisic goes down as he tried to shift gears into the middle and a penalty is going to come up on that, no doubt. This is exactly what the Islanders needed. I say that sarcastically, of course. As they find themselves a little bit on their heels right now and they find themselves down a man as well. Power play for the Flames will start at center ice. Uh, referees hesitant to drop the puck. Fisic will... They got a clock issue. Uh, they have two minutes up there for the power play. Obviously not the correct amount. Uh, although they'll leave two minutes up there. Don't know why that is. As Baker comes in, he'll shoot it in deep. Kylie plays it off the wall. Fisic down low as the Flames look to set it up here. Here's Jaden Fisic looking to center. Baker tied up. Islanders can't get it out. Gronwald, good look for Fisic. Just went under his stick. Now Fisic with space. There's an Islander down. Fisic centered. Loose puck bouncing there between the ashes. And the Islanders will get it out. And down. Kerr will play it. So it will not be icing. Yeah. There's still two minutes on the clock. Uh, is it a two minute penalty? I'm not sure. Things always seem to vary here. Oh, that's, that's not good. <laughs> that was a hard pass uh, by, I'm not sure who, a Flame player right on the opponent's stick. Uh, Flames now struggling to get it out of their own zone. Uh, they look promising a little bit at the beginning of this power play which seems to have bonus time. There's 59 seconds remaining. Uh, here comes Pelletier, looking to go end to end. Pelletier with a shot. Save was made. He's got the rebound, trying to come out in front with it. The net was open. Now for Grunwald, hard shot. And a glove save was made. Islanders trying to pick up that bouncing puck. They'll get some space to do so. Cannot. In the middle, here's Kylie. Just couldn't pull the trigger. Came back for Pelletier. Looking to... Maneuver his way in down low, taken down. We're back to five on five, we are. So they put two minutes up there accidentally and just said we'll play the 90 seconds and we'll leave the 30 seconds up there and we know that it's five on five. Interesting. Not bad, not a bad idea though. Save some time, get this game done quickly. They like to get these games done in and out here. For fed hockey. Too many. Oh. <laughs> Here's Smethurst. Couldn't pick it up down low. 
Cox. At the line, it'll be flipped in. Only an Islander player in front, and he'll take it from there. He's started their rush. Uh, the rush has started right up the middle. Puck pushed to the outside and into the corner. Puck might have been centered, and Kerr might have been forced to make a save there. Not sure. Uh, this one goes towards the goal. Uh, a butt backhand, I guess. Uh, ooh, jammed out in front. Uh, and that shot missed wide. Flames will clear it out to center. 250 remaining here in period two. It's been a bit of a jagged one, shall we say. This whole game has been a jagged game, and I mean by that, of course, nothing coming clean for either side. Past few games have been like that for the Flames, really, since the beginning of the season, rather. So all of them, <laughs> all of them have been like that. <laughs> Slap shot. Looked like he went into the bench there, but somehow stayed in play. Not her, sure how that goes, but Hemingway, he's got space to wheel now behind his cage. Tied up and lost the puck. Folsom now bails him out and gets it out to center. It was a missed block, and here comes Dermody. He looks to poke it in the middle for himself, but instead the defenseman came across and cut him off, and it'll come out to neutral territory. Will Folsom will lumber back in again, but that's an offside against the Flames as... They were changing inside the zone. Uh, difficulties of the offensive zone bench. Uh, always played teams, especially in PV hockey. Uh, Dermody won the faceoff and marches in. Here's Dermody, drops it back. Oh dear. The Islanders will pick up that puck and start their rush with a bonus, uh, but couldn't make any use of it. Uh, Flames left side, everyone is tied up. Sent to the goal by Riccio. Save with it, puck right in front of the goal. He's way out of his cage and after a bit of a struggle, uh, swallows it up. Uh, if there was a Flames player in front of the goaltender who picked up that puck, uh, it would have been in, no doubt. Uh, goaltender was down and out. Uh, Goaltender. I think I said goalie tender again. <laughs> One thing you learn about me is I love to morph words into two. I, I don't know why. I've never been able to explain it. Maybe it's because the high speed. I don't know. But goaltender has always been goalie tender. And goalie's always been goalie tender. I'll never understand it. Nonetheless, this is Dermody. On behind the goal. He's staple gun to the wall. It's now Riccio's job to take it away. Cannot! Uh, hard shot coming off the wall, and he just went wide to the goal. High and wide, of course. Uh, Harry Dermody. Seems like he's had plenty of ice time tonight. He's always out there. Dermody's always got a chance, too. He goes right to the goal and scores! He's down after the play, too, but Dermody uh, jumped around a defenseman and then Looked like he was going to make the move he made last time. But instead, I don't know if it was incidental or what. Puck dribbled in near side. And the Flames uh, extend their lead now uh, with four straight goals. Uh, and it's 4-2. to two. They have completely flipped the script uh, here in the second period. Trailing 2 to nothing, And now it's 4-2. to two. In their favor, it was an either the player going down and he got his stick up. Uh, he's going to be penalized for that. Uh, I didn't miss that one. Players, a little confused. He doesn't think he did anything. Or rather, it wasn't him. Pelletier's going to the box. Never mind, he did miss it. Looked like Pelletier took him down. Uh, he didn't get his stick up, though. It was the Islander player that got his stick up. Here, he, <clears throat> Calm before the storm here. Uh, deadly silent for a second there. Uh, almost deafening. My theory is uh, that... 
Helich here took him down and kind of lifted his stick a little bit uh, as the player was falling and might have clipped him. But that's not high sticking really because he had his stick at a level height uh, but the player was falling. Really not a high sticking penalty at all. If anything, it's a trip at most. Nonetheless, it's a fire play for the Islanders. A one-time shot and a great stop by Kerr as the puck was moving to his right. The he was moving to his left, and we're going to have a penalty right as the horn sounds here. Although the clock never stopped. A great save by Kerr closes out the second period as the player down on the far side now. We'll start to third. Four on four. Drew Hemingway down over there. And he is in some pain. We'll have an update uh, after the third period coming up. And our Mind is with Drew Hemingway. <laughs> 